Hi, it's Elise. I have some big news. Number one, this is my first video. And number two, I have been selected as a youth ambassador for the Tourette Association of America. So first things first, I have a lot of people ask me, like almost on the daily, what Tourette syndrome is. So TS is a neurological disorder. It is caused by a chemical imbalance in the brain and it causes tics. Tics are uncontrollable movements and sounds. Now, TS also comes with a lot of comorbid disorders and side effects. Um, and through the help of my neurologist, I have been able to do opportunities for advocating for myself. I have had Tourette's since I was pretty young. I started showing symptoms when I was a year old. Um, and at first I was actually misdiagnosed with um, stereotypical movements. And then my parents started making more connections because I also had vocal tics, not just the motor tics. So after taking me to a different specialist, I was therefore diagnosed with Tourette syndrome. Um, this was around the age of four that I was diagnosed. I went on meds and came off of them due to the side effects. They weren't really helping any. And throughout the first few years of my schooling career, whatever, um, I was actually bullied for having Tourette's, which is unfortunately very common. So I knew that I had to speak up for myself because they weren't gonna stop. So I started telling people about my disorder and everybody at my school was becoming pretty understanding. Um, I'm not my third school district, so I've had to do this a lot. Like, I mean, a lot. Um, so I wanted to find out more ways to advocate for myself to try to get Tourette's out there because, you know, I don't just deal with stuff at school. I deal with stuff in public and I had actually gone through a program called CBIT. So CBIT is something that can be done with your neurologist, but only certified people are able to do it. And it teaches you more about Tourette syndrome and how your brain works. And it gives you coping strategies. And I was actually um, told to apply for the Youth Ambassador Program for the Tourette Association of America. Um, the first year I wanted to apply, I did not make the deadline. I was told about it the day before the deadline, so I did not have time to prepare. So I was trying to get more involved by the time the next deadline was rolling around. So from there, I um, worked a lot with my neurologist and with the hospital that I go to and I was able to present at the 2022 Teen Summit for Tourette Syndrome from the Tourette Association of America and you know I found out that I really like public speaking and talking about Tourette's because I do it a lot. So just a few months ago I found out that I could reapply so I reapplied for, well, not reapplied, I applied for the first time the Youth Ambassador Program from the Tourette Syndrome, Tourette Syndrome, from the Tourette Association of America. So after I did my application, I waited for a very long time, waiting for emails and stuff. And I got an email that said I got an interview which made me really happy because I was, you know, really happy that I got an interview. So I went through the interview and I was really nervous, especially because they only ended up getting the first page of my application and the story that I wrote. So I did not think I had a very good shot at it because they were missing a lot of information. But it ended up being fine last night I got an email and it said, congratulations, 
we are pleased to tell you that you have been accepted into the Youth Ambassador Program, and we are going to see you in DC. So I do have that trip to DC coming up. I get to go to Capitol Hill after a day of training for National Advocacy Day. So what that entails is meeting with Congress members like the Senate and representatives, and I talk to them for more understanding of Tourette Syndrome. Now, this does not only help me with Tourette's, this helps everybody in America who is diagnosed or undiagnosed with Tourette's Syndrome. I am really, really excited for this, and in another video, I will be documenting my trip to DC, and I will also be talking more about my story with Tourette's and OCD and everything else that comes with it. And I hope to keep making more videos documenting my journey. Thank you for watching.